Sponsored by Winwing Technologies. You'll feel the flight regime. Guns, gear, high alpha, and others. Bomb base open, no blasters fired. Bob sticks her out, sticks her out. Oh my god, this is gonna be the sexiest thing ever viewed by anyone on any platform ever. Uh, 84, 840 bombs, you're gonna get laggy. Just drop the frigging bombs, I'll yeah. see, drop them now. Imperial Star Destroyer, you are a knobhead. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Today, we were supposed to be doing a super realistic reenactment in the new Falklands map, but I'm feeling just absolutely terrible at the moment, and RC is a little bit under the weather as well, aren't you, RC? No. And of course not. Right, thanks for agreeing. <laughs> uh, anyway, I am, so I just can't handle that. So we're going to take another one of our older valued viewer requests, and it's, it's much more suitable for being ill and not being able to concentrate. So, I'll see. The year is 2023. A date which will live in infamy. On the 1st of June, aliens came down to Earth. I told you it wasn't going to be very serious. <laughs> Over London in England, a star destroyer, an imperial star destroyer, came down mm -hmm. to about 6,000 feet into the centre of London. He sent an unencrypted broadcast to the people of London saying, you must pay me one million pounds sterling or I'm going to raise your city to the ground. The mayor of London refused to pay. Instead, we decided to fight RC. Now, the only weapons we have in England, or should I say UK, that could take down an Imperial Star Destroyer are nuclear tip... <coughs> Told you you're feeling under the weather. I'm not cutting that out. Nuclear tip missiles Don't. from our nuclear submarines. Now, the problem, if we decide to use those nuclear missiles, I'll say it will atomize London, which makes the whole exercise pointless. So how are we going to destroy it? Well, in our infinite wisdom, UK decided to get rid of all of its big bomber aircraft. So we've got no bombers either. So we're going to call our special friends over the seas, the United States. How does it feel to be called upon RC? Feels great. We've got that special relationship going on. So... Uncle Sam or Mr. Biden or whoever has decided to lend us 10 B-1B bone Lancer conventional bombers. And we're going to go and attack the Imperial Star Destroyer. So here is the Imperial Star Destroyer. It's over London in the East End by the looks of things. It is equipped with all sorts of turbo blasters, I've been told is the correct word. And it's going to be problematic. The only way we can think of destroying it is sending all the B1s in at transonic to supersonic speed and dropping all the bombs in the world. This is the plan. From the very southeast tip of England, Manston Air Base, we're going to have 10 US bones. Each bone is equipped with 84 500 pound free fall bombs. That's a total of 840 bombs are going to be dropped on the Imperial Star Destroyer. Is that enough? I have no idea. Out of interest, that is uh, 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 420,000 pounds of bombs, which is a lot. As well as that, we're going to add a bomb cap because we can't fly bones equipped with a few more mark 82 500 pound bombs just to be sure we're going to take off vector the flight and form up formation star wars style 25 miles southwest then another 50 miles to center of london and put our bombs on the imperial star destroyer that is as simple as our plan is because i'm ill uh how do you think it's going to go rc uh well i have no idea huh Welcome in valued viewers, we are in Bombcat, RC's in the front doing the flying, I'm in the back doing the bombing and a bit of camera work. There are our wonderful 10 uh, loaned bones. Bone number one's moving already, RC. Please don't do a massive back... T they're all taxiing, how about that? Go on, bones, please turn left, please turn left. I will give you any... Yes! Can't go well. I will give you gold. If you turn left, they turn the right... room to, to take off, right? Or they're going to go... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's a no, bone. What can go? go... Turn around. That's fine. As long as they don't go the other way. Well, this should be relatively painless, though, Aussie. They're just all going. Oh, can it be open, please? I want to hear those frigging massive engines. If anyone knows what engines they are, please let me know. I know you tell me every time, and I forget every time. That's our relationship, value viewers, and you know it. That's our relationship, especially at the moment. I'm no good to anyone. Okay, this should be a relatively painless AI takeoff, by the looks of things. Which, let's face it, is pretty rare. 
Can you taxi just a little bit further towards the runway, but not into the runway, you know what I mean? I just want the best grandstand view of these suckers taking off. Yeah. Look at us you doing what I say. I wish AI would taxi like me in DTS, like, like 150 knots. We were getting <laughs> things done so much quicker. Right, we're going to be here a while, but that's okay, because I've got a massive cup of tea to drink. And anyway, we've got to go and save London. There is an argument to say London should not be saved. I personally don't like it very much, but I am very much in the majority. Uh, in minority, sorry. Okay, leading edge slaps are down, wings are open. Oh, I can't hear his afterburner. Why oh, can't I hear his afterburner? Oh, no, I can. That's one sexy ass bone I'll say. I think it's going to run out of runway. I think he's going to run out of runway. No, he's up. We're on a very short field here at Valley Viewers because uh, reasons. Reasons that you should not ask and I should not say. Bone number one up. We are on the freaking way. I see, do you know why it's called the bone? No. It's called the bone because... Why? Because... What's, what's, because if you take B away from the O N E and make them two separate words, what do you get? B1. You get B1! Well done. Man, these are so, these are actually in England at the moment, you know. Fairford, where we're all meeting up. By the way, value views, if you're watching, we're all GR and everyone, the public, is all meeting up in um, next month in Aria Fairford uh, on the, uh, I'm not going to say the date, in mid-July because I've forgotten what the date is on the Saturday. I haven't uh, sent it out very much because I've been really sick lately, uh, but I will be there and hopefully you'll all be there too. That is all. We'll be there on the Saturday. Yeah, anyway, these, these are stations, by the way, Aria Fairford in England. We did a road trip recently since we've got a lot of talking time value viewers uh, from Cambridge where we live or near Cambridge uh, to Cornwall literally the opposite side of the country and we stopped in and, and visited a couple of Grim Reapers guys on the way it was good fun we didn't stop and visit RC because RC lives too far away <laughs> also we think he has Covid and we, won't, we don't want the Covid RC they do not have COVID. you don't have it no. right alright just... took three tests no Covid yeah. Well, back when I was sick anyways. You're not sick anymore? Fine. Nope. That's wonderful news. Just a lingering cough. Lingering cough. That's a good name for a band. Well, if you're really going to be sitting here watching Bones take off all day. Uh, if you don't want to watch Bones taking off all day, I suggest pressing the fast forward button. On yeah, your YouTube app. But... No, we don't get it, I'll see. We have to sit and wait. <laughs> We're all Milsim, that's what we're about. Can't you tell? We're oh, attacking yeah, Star Destroyers. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's so funny. It's so funny. I'm allowed to do this, I'm sick. In the head. What I'm going to do for you, Valley viewers, I'm going to give you a extreme view. Woo! Look at that sucker go. This runway is so wide, they could take off like 10 abreast and have it all done at once. Also, I'm pretty sure by now... They're not that smart. They're not that smart. Well, maybe they're just not that dumb. Uh, by now, the first one is pretty much over the Star Destroyer. Hello, Bone. God, Bone is sexy. Back in the day when they made really, really sexy planes. Do you remember those days? I did. Go, Bone, go. All right, I'll see you can pretty much join the back of the queue now, please. All right, all right two more bones to go, I'll see. Then it's us, baby, us. Big benign bone.
Last phone going up, baby. We've only been here for 35 minutes. I wonder if in real life the afterburners come on asynchronously, like one, two, three, and four. Uh, good question. I bet they do. Because they're quite hard to light burners. Like Anyway, can it be down our seat? Yeah. Right, push that lever forward. Go. Push that lever forward, I say. Ich bin ein Bombcat. I love riding in the back of Bombcat because I don't have to bother driving and I can just ask around. But let's face it, it's my speciality. Okay, valid viewers, um, I've set them to meet up at a waypoint ways over there. Uh, it's going to take a while to get them all in formation, so we will report back, I guess. Welcome back, Valued Humanoids. Uh, we're kind of on the Ingress run now. We've, the boys are all pretty much boned up, which is great. Uh, we're going to start getting ourselves set up now, RC, which is interesting because I can't remember how to do it. So, bomb. Choose the bomb. Hang on. I'm doing my pylons first. Select, select, bomb. Select. Right, fingers crossed that's all set up. Next, mechanical, uh, mechanical fuse, nose, tail, fine. Uh, delivery mode, single, check. Bomb, mark 82, low drag, check. Pilot, uh, delivery, fine. Electronic fuse, instant. Right, you've now got to go air to ground mode, RC. And then I think you've just got to bang bang the pickle button about a million times. Right, value views, um, I think that's a setup question mark. Supersonic, they're supersonic. We're supersonic. Ich liebe mich bone. Look at them. Why wouldn't you go in a really obvious World War II box formation? Why wouldn't you do that, RC? Okay, ah, hello. I see an Imperial Star Destroyer. He's threatening London. He wants one million pounds sterling. Which he's not going to freaking get. He's charging his turbo blasters. I think I've got that right. Have I got that right, Ossie? I see I gab when I'm nervous. You probably noticed this by now. and not interested at all. It's just like, how did I get into this crap? I... I want Milsim. <laughs> and I'm not sure if it's turbo blasters. Well, phases, I think, is Star Trek. I always get told off by the Valley viewers. And oh, yeah. Blasters. Blasters are what Star Wars has. And when you to put them on an Imperial mega scale, I believe they become turbo blasters or hyper blasters. So you've got turbo blasters or hyper blasters. I'm sure I'll be corrected in the, by the Valley viewers. But at the end of the day, pay the freaking bills here, but... You know what? Tomcat's actually pretty big. I don't want to get distracted from the really important mission, but... Tomcat's actually pretty big. Okay, we're pretty much... We're pretty much hitting the IP here, I think. Okay, oh, they're, they're, they're puffing, they're puffing! Right, can you fall in behind them, please, RC, now? Yeah. Um, I don't know why, it just seems like the optimal thing to do. Yeah, they're on IP now. They've re-engaged your burners. Re-engaged your burners. Okay, here we go, Valley Humanoids. Things about to be jammed. Okay, here we go, Valley viewers. Bombay doors are open. Things about to get sexy or something. Oh, I'm stretching my little neck out as much as I can. God, I hope I put them high enough. I haven't actually tried this, so... Because I don't want to be know what happens. I get the feeling I might not set them higher, though. I know we're all right. We're all right. It's all looking good so far. Let's do a sexy flyby view. RC can't keep up. God damn it, RC. Push those turbo I'm boosters in. Oh my God, uh -oh. things are happening! Get killed. <laughs> oh no, great. <laughs>
turbo blasters, I see. Look at all the freaking parachutes. Oh, I see. Uh oh. <laughs> Driven the bastard out! Driven out, did we get any bombs out? Oh, I'm out right now, but oh no, the bombs are dropping! They missed the friggin' yeah. Imperial Star Destroyer! B1s. Well, we bombed London. So, at least that happened. Not a single bomb. The only thing that hit the Imperial Star Destroyer was a bone carcass, which went straight through it. He just killed us with the turbo blasters. Um, and look what we did to London. Those are all bits of our car car carcasses. Carcai? Don't know. Uh, Imperial Star Destroyer is a real bitch. Uh, I'm going to reevaluate the plan standby. Welcome back, valued viewers. Uh, that didn't work so good. The turbo blasters were a lot tougher than we thought they were going to be. So, Mr. Biden has seen fit to send another 10 bones out. I believe you guys have got about 60 of them to spare, so uh, that's all good. I'll say I'm going to get it set up again. We are now at 20,000 feet. Last time we were at, I think, 7,000 feet I put in. We're now an extra 13,000 feet, so that is 20,000 feet. I am relatively sure that the that is going to put us out of blaster range, but stand by and we will see. We've got a few miles to go, 50 miles to go. Supersonic again. That is what 11 simultaneous sonic, sonic booms it sounds like. Interestingly, to fly this speed, we have to get an afterburner, but the bones have to, have to be on mill power. That is interesting. And technically, that is super cruising, RC. They're going supersonic with our burner. I had no idea they could super cruise, so that's pretty impressive. Uh, Do they not have their burners on right nope, now? Nope, not, not on my screen. Not on my screen. They're heavy, too. Yes, they are very heavy, I'll see. Well, yep. Well analyzed. Got their wings fully back. Love me a good bone. Slightly worried. I can't actually see Star Destroyer anywhere. Nope. I'm gonna. Yes, I. Oh, it's below us now, huh? Can you see it? Yeah, I see it. Alright. Oh, well, I see it. It's right there. Freak. Heck yeah, I just saw that. Okay, Star Destroyer is looming, valued humanoids. Better get my bomb set up. Yeah, I've done my bit, so... Okay. I'll see start falling behind them, please. Uh, I think it's going to give us the best view, like last time. Or, oh, I don't know, words to that effect. I've lost Tally on the baddie. I think it's through those clouds. He's behind the cloud there. Yeah. I can see him. How awkward. hope that doesn't upset our aiming. Shouldn't do. Oh, here they go. Turbulence. Mm -hmm. Right, thus far, no blasters. There's some turbulence, I see. Right, yeah. well. Okay, they put the burners on now, FYI. And off go the burners. I haven't got any uh, RWR warnings this time. Okay, I didn't even notice we did last time. I see a pod there, though. Bomb base open, no blasters fired. Bob sticks are out, sticks are out. Oh my god, this is going to be the sexiest thing ever viewed by anyone on any platform ever. Uh, 84, 840 bombs. You're going to get laggy. Just drop the frigging bombs, I'll yeah. see. Drop them now. Just careful not to be going down while doing it. Bombs are dropped. Can't. I've, Whoa. I've got almost no. All right, we'll have to go around.
my PC stopped, basically. All right, just try not to die. Okay, down, well, go, lots I've of bombs. No, I'm not even moving right now, so I have no idea where I am. Oh my god, we hit perfectly. That could not have been planned better. <laughs> Viewers, I could not have scripted that better. Oh my god, we've killed a whole of London as well. Look at that. Okay, it wasn't the most efficient drop in the world. Have you come back yet? Uh-uh. That there was 840 bombs. I don't think any planes died apart from... Oh! All of the B1s died, apparently. Huh. But we got the bombs down. And... It says we killed something. ISD carrier killed... Stand by. Oh, yes, it's oh. pretty much dead. It's pretty much dead, I see. Okay. Let me have a sip of tea and let's try and ascertain what, what, what happened here, Valid Humanoids. So the computer basically died and we obviously just disappeared and we presumably just flew into the ocean. Crash. Yeah, something. Good news is enough bombs hit this Imperial Star Destroyer that it's now dead and not functioning. It's not on fire yet, but it is out of action. And now we can send in the uh, tanks and get to its shields or whatever, I don't know, words to that effect. We did take a lot of the East End down, but who's ever been a massive fan of the East End anyway? Um, and for some reason, all of the B1s blew up. And I don't know why uh, that... There's one left. One made it through, RC. One yeah, made it through. One. Where is the destruction? Where is the destruction? There it is. Wow, that was some massive boom boom. Absolutely massive boom boom. I can't really think any anything to add to that. So, I mean, at the end of the day, that is how a way of killing an Imperial Star Destroyer. You go above its blaster range at 20,000 feet. You will lose your flight for reasons unknown. I'm guessing it has some sort of, I don't know, EMP or something that just blew us all up. <laughs> but you get enough bombs down and you can get it down to 30%, which in DCS is destroyed basically. It can't fire back. It can't do anything now. Is there anything else you want to try, RC? Can you remember no. how to drop nukes in the MiG-21? Yeah. Welcome in, Valley viewers. Uh, the Imperial Star Destroyer is almost, almost destroyed. Uh, they've called in a couple of, weird, I know, but Argentinian MiG-21s from the Armada, which don't exist as far as I'm aware. Uh, and we're going to drop a couple of 14 kiloton nukes on that SOB. I'll see, I'm going to put my burners on and go straight above it and drop down. It's the most accurate way of doing it. And up we go, MiG-21. Everyone loves MiG-21. Buy me someone who doesn't like MiG-21 and I'll find you a, I don't know, something. A dodo. Hence the phrase, being dead as a dodo, I'll see. <laughs> yes? Find it amusing? Find that line amusing. <laughs> Why? Greedy as a pig. Mm -hmm. Right, I'll say I'm going right up now. And what I'm going to do is turn my engine off and roll over when I'm up there. Come down, drop the thing on him. I'm aware that he can't shoot me with his blasters for about a million miles because we've tested it. Man, that Marder skin looks sexy. No, I don't think Argentina ever had MiG-21s. So let me know if I'm wrong, Valley Doers. I usually am, let's face it. All right. I'll beat you around the bush. Right, I'm going to start arcing over now. Engines off. Actually, I've not gone far enough yet. It's just the perspective. I'm going up further. No one likes a dodgy perspective, I see. Okay, now I'm far enough. Oh, I lost Here we go. You lost your bomb, Marcy. Do not lose no your engine. bomb. Okay, you don't need it now. You've got potential no, energy. Okay. Right. Oh, it's fine. Friggin' blast at me. I'm dropping the bomb. Bomb away. I just had to drop it because it's blasting at me. Well, I'm getting the S out of here. See you later, douchebag. I'll see you in hell, literally. All right, I'm going to watch my bomb, standby. Yeah, I've missed chef. it. I'll say I freaking missed it. I knew its perspective was wrong. That's so frustrating. Right, well, you've got to hit it now. Because I've freaking no, miss missed it. Well, where's the other one? Well, yours definitely has. Jesus Christ, I see. Okay, well, well we've no both control. missed, haven't we? Right, sorry, Landon. This Doesn't is gonna really hurt. With the nuke. Oh, there's my body. Well, I would have preferred an impact. 
Sorry that there's no Mushroom Cloud value viewers. That's just how the game works. There is that little crate of it, though. So that's a good thing. Destroyed and we destroyed carrier how many damage. How did that? Yeah, we had to do third damage. Boom. There, there's one crater. 14 kiloton crater there. 14 kiloton crater there. Blast waves hit us. How much damage have we done? Oh, come on. We did no damage. Are you serious? No. Right, we've got to get on target. We've got to get on target. I'm respawning. Hey, humanoids. I'm not entirely sure that's realistic, but nothing really about today is realistic. So how am I going to get that bomb on target is the question. Bet you didn't think you'd be doing this when you woke up today, RC. RC was all prepped for his Fal Falklands reenactment. Well, technically, we're in Argentinian plains, kind of, sort of. So that's kind of Nielsen, right? We're in Russian plains. Well, it's got a big Argentinian flag on it, so I'm just saying. You know me, I'm not making the rules here, RC, I'm just saying. So the bomb is going to fall straight down. It's a case... Ah, oh, I know how to do it. I'm going to cheat and use the F10 map. We're at that stage in the day now, RC, where we can just cheat and use the F10 map. Okay. Why does my engine keep dying? Two miles. This plane does that, and this is why I don't fly it anymore. I love it, love it, love it. But flying a two-hour mission just to have your engine cut out, mm, not worth well, the stress. I can just restart it, but... Okay, am I over it? Check. I've got to go right over now. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. No one likes weirdo. I've got to get back on track a little bit. Oh, he's already shooting his stupid knobhead blasters. Okay, watch this, Valley Tuminoids. I'm going to get like that, and I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it. I'm going to drop it. Bomb away! I don't care what happens to me. Oh my god, I so missed that. This is really hard. I miss it by miles, yeah, RC. I miss God damn swear words. This is impossible. This bomb should fall straight down, I'm sure of it. It's not an aerodynamic bomb, it should just go down. It does fall straight down. Well, I don't think it does. That's missed it by oh. a mile. God, man. Sorry, London. Zero percent damage. Zero percent damage. Fourteen kiloton nuke. Right, I'm doing it again. The important thing is, value is not to get angry because your blood pressure will rise, and my blood pressure is borderline at the moment on having to go straight to hospital. So we're not going to do it. We're just going to chill. Right, come on, RC. Do you monitor your blood pressure, RC? Uh, no, I don't need to. Why not? I mean, because it's always fine. All right, be like that. <clears throat> when I find out today again, I'm good. Go to the dock for a physical, anyways. Mm -hmm. At this point, I'm not really sure what to say. By the law of like averages, we should have just hit it by now. It is a mile long, after all. Just somehow get properly ver. Okay, maybe I go really, really high, RC. Like really high. That's something we haven't. I've got above cons now. Oh, it's been sexy. Okay, my engine's gone. Does it matter? Not really. I've just got to aim down now. Okay, RC. I'm assuming I can still drop the bomb. Otherwise, that would be a bit embarrassing for me. I'm pretty much over it. Okay, I'm right over it now. All I've got to do is go vertical down. Yeah, I'm over it. I can't miss. I literally can't miss. And bomb drop. Bomb dropped. Yes! The bomb dropped. It's going to hit. It's going to hit. This one's yeah, hit. Like it. I, I don't know where my bomb went. I let it go and then I couldn't find it. Watch out. Mine's hit right on the bridge. Man, that's cool. Imperial Star Destroyer, you are a knobhead. We'll go through it. I don't, oh, oh, I'll get so angry. Yes, yep. I hit it! Oh, oh I burnt it! I said I did it! I did it, I burnt there it. There you go. Oh. Okay, Paddy Viewers, I'm not going to lie. London is basically an atomized radiation cloud now, or whatever the heck uh, uh, six nukes do. But it's just all really crumpled. So I'm not going to lie, Grim Reapers did our usual kind of attritional, uh, what's the word, collateral damage, but, but, did we or did we not destroy an Imperial Star Destroyer, RC? We did. We did! Right, um, I need to literally go and die in bed now, because I feel miserable. RC, I think it's going to do something similar, or they won't in a minute. Um, any final comments for the viewers, RC? Nope. Uh, bye bye The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.